Hey everybody, it's V. Welcome to the channel if you're new and welcome back if you're not. Alrighty guys, I'm back with part two of countries that are open to unvaccinated tourists. Depending on when you're seeing this video, please just double check the entry requirements for the countries mentioned since things could have changed since posting this video. Please also note that this video will be part 2 in a 3 part video series where I will cover countries that you can visit if you're unvaccinated against COVID-19. If you missed part 1, the link will be in the description as well as the link to part 3 as soon as that becomes available. In this video, I will be covering countries in Europe, so let's jump straight into it. The first country for Europe is Albania. After reinstating COVID-19 restrictions last September, this Balkan nation reopened its borders on the 1st of May. The next country is Andorra. Technically has no entry requirements, but with no airport, travelers are subject to the restrictions that Spain has imposed. Or they can enter freely from the French side as of August the 1st. The next country is Armenia. No PCR tests or vaccination certificates are required to enter Armenia as of the 1st of May. Next country on the list is Austria. One of Europe's strictest countries relaxed all COVID and pre-travel clearances on May 16th. Next on the list, we have Belarus. So this country removed all of its COVID-related restrictions on the 28th of May, though travelers should be cautious of heightened tensions due to the war in Ukraine. The next country on the list is Belgium. As of May 23, all COVID considerations for entry have essentially been removed. Next, we have Bosnia and Herzegovina. Effective May 26, all COVID entry requirements were dropped, making it one of the last Balkan countries to do so. Next on the list is Bulgaria. On the 1st of May, this country lifted all COVID document requirements to enter the country. Next on the list, we have Croatia. On the 1st of May, Croatia reinstated the immigration requirements it had in place prior to the COVID pandemic. Unvaccinated travelers can enter Croatia without showing proof of a vaccine or negative test. The requirement to fill out a passenger locator form also no longer exists. Next, we have Cyprus. Although a masking mandate went into effect on July the 8th, as of 1 June, the Mediterranean island scrapped all testing, quarantine, and proof of vaccination requirements to enter the country. Unvaccinated travelers to Cyprus must provide proof of a negative PCR test taken within 72 hours before departure for the country or an antigen test taken in the 24 hours before departure for the country. The next on the list is the Czech Republic. The country was one of the latest in Europe to completely reopen its borders on April the 9th. Next on the list is Denmark. As of March 29, all remaining COVID restrictions to mainland Denmark were lifted irrespective of vaccination status. There are no COVID-related requirements regarding tests or self-isolation when entering Denmark. Next, we have Estonia. The Baltic nation announced it was suspending all entry requirements for travelers, effective June the 16th. Next on the list, we have Finland. All entry requirements were lifted on June the 30th, making this country the last of its northern European neighbors to do so. Next on the list is France. 
Um, August 1st marked the end of the COVID-related travel restrictions for international travelers, bringing the popular destination in line with the rest of Europe. If you are unvaccinated and over 12 years old, you must provide a negative PCR test result taken within 72 hours or an antigen test result taken within 48 hours pre-departure for entry to France. Next country is Georgia. The Black Sea Nation lifted all entry requirements on June the 15th. Next on the list, we have Germany. After some back and forth on policy, the country reopened to all travelers on June the 11th, regardless of vaccination status. The next country on the list is Gibraltar. As with the UK, this British Overseas Territory ended COVID restrictions on March 30th. Next on the list is Greece. Since 1 May 2022, unvaccinated travelers are able to visit the country without proof of a negative PCR test or rapid antigen test. Next on the list, Greenland. May the 18th saw all testing, vaccine and quarantine requirements lifted. Next we have Hungary. There are no longer any coronavirus related travel restrictions as of March the 7th. And the next country is Iceland. Iceland removed all COVID entry restrictions on Feb the 25th. This means you do not need to test or show proof of vaccination status to enter the country. Next, we have Ireland. As of March 6th, there are no travel restrictions. If you are traveling to Ireland as of Sunday 6, March 2022, you do not need to show any proof of vaccination, proof of recovery, negative test or passenger locator form. The next country is Italy. Since June the 1st, all pandemic related measures at the border have been dropped. Next on the list is Kosovo. This country joined its Balkan neighbors in lifting COVID border requirements on May the 1st. The next country is Latvia. As of April the 1st, COVID entry requirements for everyone have been lifted. Next on the list, we have Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It says the principality follows the same rules as Switzerland. Next we have Lithuania. Since May the 1st, travelers from any country of the world have not been subject to any COVID management requirements. Next country is Luxembourg. All travelers to this country need to fill in a passenger locator form before their flight. Those who are not vaccinated need to show proof of a negative PCR test taken no more than 48 hours before their flight or a negative lateral flow test taken no more than 24 hours before. If you're not fully vaccinated but have tested positive for COVID in the last year, you can show proof of recovery to enter. Next country is Malta. As of the 25th of July, this country lifted its COVID-19 entry requirements, including its mandate that travelers must have gotten their last booster shot within the last three months to visit. The next country on the list is Moldova. This former Soviet country ended all entry requirements on March 16th. Next on the list, we have Monaco. You do not need to show proof of vaccination to enter this country. However, travelers over the age of 16 who are not fully vaccinated will need to provide either a negative result of a PCR or antigen test taken within the last 24 hours or a certificate showing proof of recovery from COVID-19. The next country on the list is Montenegro. This country requires no proof of vaccination or test or passenger tracking form to travel to the nation as of March the 10th. The next country is North Macedonia. This Balkan nation once again removed all requirements as of April the 21st. Next on the list is Norway. As of Feb the 12th, 
No testing, quarantine or registration is needed. The travel restrictions upon entry into Norway have been lifted. Next on the list we have Poland. All remaining COVID entry requirements and even domestic mask and quarantining rules were lifted on the 28th of March in Poland. The next country is Portugal. As of 1 July, travelers are no longer required to test or quarantine to enjoy a holiday in this country. The next country is Romania. And this country lifted all COVID restrictions on the 16th of March. Next, we have Serbia, one of the last remaining Balkan nations to have COVID restrictions at its borders, lifted them on the 3rd of May. The next country is Slovenia. As of the 19th of Feb, there are no longer any coronavirus restrictions on entering Slovenia. The next country is Slovakia. All testing, vaccine and quarantine requirements were dropped on the 6th of April in this country. The next country on the list is Spain. Unvaccinated adult travelers can enter Spain if they are able to show proof of a negative test taken before entering the country. Next country on the list is Sweden. The ban on travelers from outside the EU was lifted on the 1st of April. Reopening the country to all without any requirements. Next on the list is Switzerland and this country fully reopened its borders on the 2nd of May. Next on the list we have Turkey. This country lifted all entry requirements or measures as of 1 June for international tourists. The last country on the list is the United Kingdom and this country scrapped its last remaining rules for international travel on the 18th of March. So that is it for part two of countries that have opened their borders to unvaccinated travelers. The link to part one will be in the description as well as the link to part three as soon as it becomes available. If you have any questions or suggestions, please don't hesitate to let us know in the comment section. As always, please like, subscribe and share this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.